PlayStation has won this generation of console wars, no doubt. It was all set up with the Xbox One. PlayStation absolutely dominated and continues to dominate by almost a three to one, three to one margin this generation with console sales. However, the moves that Xbox is making, the moves that Microsoft is making, has nothing to do with this generation. They're looking five years down the road, ten years down the road. And I have said all along that I believe personally that we are at the beginning of the Xbox domination generation. But how can you say that? Look how many look how many consoles PlayStation is selling. Now they have their PS5 Pro. They're probably going to sell even more. Xbox just isn't competing. That's what I see in the comments quite quite a bit. Uh, and this article proves why. Because the future is not in hardware. The future is in software. In fact, I did a video last week, go check it out, that I believe the PS5 Pro at that price point is one giant commercial for Game Pass, for Xbox Game Pass. There's this article by Jez Corden that he did last week on September 10th talking about how Xbox could see a $40 billion, a lead in the $40 billion industry that is cloud gaming upcoming soon. The other thing is that what we're starting to see is, along with that strategy, we're starting to see Xbox using their promotional material handhelds. And we know that PlayStation is going handhelds. We know that Xbox is planning on going handhelds. Nintendo is already there. But handheld devices combined with Game Pass, combined with cloud streaming, is this absolute juggernaut of, of a strategy. I believe, and it's why I believe we're at the beginning of the Xbox domination generation. Now, for those of you who have never tried cloud or cloud gaming, I highly recommend you do so. We're very close to it being there. And in the case of GeForce Now, we're there. If you want to see the potential of cloud gaming, just go sign up for a trial of GeForce Now. Go do it. You'll see. It's mind-boggling. Now, Xbox's side, on Microsoft's side with their Game Pass, it works pretty well. There's, there's, uh, it works better on some games than it does others, but overall it works pretty decently. It's not yet to GeForce Now. I would say GeForce Now is the leader in the space, but cloud gaming absolutely has a future. If you don't think it has a future, you're kidding yourself. Let's go through these two news stories today. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about why and just further underscore why I do believe that Xbox is going to dominate PlayStation in the, in the next generation. We're at the beginning of the Xbox domination generation. Let's talk about it. Before we do, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. My name is X1 the Gamer. We cover uh, stories like this all the time right here on this channel. We also have a community over on Discord. I will pin it in the comments. Come join us. So let's jump into it. As Sony reveals the PS5 Pro, Xbox is quietly building a cloud gaming dominance that could see it lead a $40 billion industry in just 10 years. This is according to Bloomberg Intelligence. Uh, let's start right here. A recent report from Bloomberg Intelligence shared with us by the firm details how Xbox and Microsoft could be at the forefront of a major cloud gaming boom over the next decade. Once again, like I said, the moves being done now are not for now. They're for the next five years and the next 10 years, the next decade. Um... Microsoft could be at the forefront of a major cloud gaming boom over the next decade. One of Microsoft's most prolific innovations with Xbox in recent years is its Xbox cloud gaming service, which as of right now is tied to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. In essence, <clears throat> excuse me, cloud gaming allows users to avoid paying the upfront cost of a console, which can run into the hundreds of dollars, $6.99 in the case of PS5, uh, and instead pay a subscription to use one of Microsoft's servers to deliver the game to their local drive. Microsoft is always expanding its data center footprint to accommodate its users and is currently constructed, constructing a server farm in Hyderabad, India, which is of particular interest of today's topic. Why? Because it keeps getting talked about. Sony's head has talked about it. Phil Spencer has talked about it, that we've kind of hit this this peak in console gaming as far as users are concerned so where are the new users in console gaming answer emerging economies like india like china um and others but india i mean billion billion population over there if you can crack the code you can you can absolutely dominate Bloomberg Intelligence is so the fact that sorry just to go back to this the fact that uh, Microsoft is making a data center over in India is absolutely huge because you have to imagine this is going to be tied to Game Pass. Bloomberg Intelligence is a firm that provides analysis on a variety of industry topics to help investors make better decisions. Recently, the company shared a report with us de detailing how it thinks cloud gaming 
is set to expand tenfold over the next de- decade, growing into a forty billion dollar industry globally. Expand tenfold over the next ge- decade. Once again, what's being done now? The moves being made now. Get going and gap grabbing Bethesda, going and getting Activision Blizzard, putting Call of Duty on Game Pass. Here's the thing: people are saying, "Well, Call of Duty, if it doesn't absolutely crush it with this first one, then that means it's done and it was a bad mistake." No, 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 no. Yes, you will get some subscribers to Game Pass this time around, but I think it takes two or three of these touch points of these major titles on Game Pass for people to actually go and subscribe to Game Pass. And that's what we're going to see here. Game ca- the Putting Call of Duty is not necessarily for this round of Call of Duty. Maybe next year, maybe the year after that is where you really start to get that train rolling, get that ball rolling down the hill there. Here is what Bloomberg Intelligence has said right here. Cloud streamed gaming, CSG, services took in $3.5 billion of revenue last year, a sliver of the $184 billion generated by video game makers globally. Yet we think the share will increase rapidly as streaming lets game makers reach a bigger addressable market that includes mobile devices, not just consoles and PCs. This will be crucial for emerging markets like India where people rely more on mobile devices and less on expensive fixed hardware. That's the power of cloud streaming services. So go from 3.5 to 40 billion uh, in the next decade. The full report details how it will be India rather than the United States that leads growth in this segment. India is a nation dominated by more flexible mobile gaming instead of more traditional console gaming. The upfront cost of video game console is simply well beyond the current purchasing power of some regions, which has led to the near total domination of mobile gaming to fill the gap. Bloomberg emphasizes that the rollout of improved network infrastructure in countries like India over the next decade could lead to a cloud gaming boom owing to the pending availability of global heavy hitters like Call of Duty appearing on cloud gaming services. And here's a chart showing that off. Uh, and let's go to, there's one more quote here from Bloomberg. Where or Bloomberg, where is it at? Maybe I read, there it is right here. Um, Xbox has a solid grip on the cloud stream gaming services market thanks to its lead over major rivals in games library and cloud technology. With a greater emphasis on cloud technology in the earlier half of Bloomberg Intelligence forecast period as that sets it apart from Sony and other key competitors in the CSG market. Strength in cloud technology underpins better than peer user experience and subsequently successes in user acquisition. Sony's PlayStation Now still has the largest game catalog, which includes first party games that are at the same caliber to those offered by Xbox. And we think that Sony Sony's strong defense against its arch rival. We think that is a strong defense against its arch rival. We expect Sony's cloud gaming strategies going forward to be more reactive in nature as it anticipates others act, other actions that Microsoft Xbox unit may take, particularly around platform exclusivity of key game franchises. So Xbox is going to dominate. They've invested in cloud gaming. They're going to dominate this market. This is according to Bloomberg, but Sony's not out of it. And Sony will react. Of course, of course they will react. And they're, they're very good at, um, I mean, they've, they're very good in the gaming space. Obviously, I fully expect them to go down this rival, this, this rabbit hole rather. And it's not, a, I mean that in a good sense, right? To go down this strategy. Uh, but again, I think we're at the beginning of the Xbox domination generation. You can, you can see it when, if you've not tried cloud gaming, if you're not yet a believer in cloud gaming, First of all, try Xbox Game Pass uh, Cloud Gaming. It's really good. But GeForce Now is the king. And GeForce Now shows you the potential, what the future of cloud gaming is going to be. And and keep this in mind as you play both of those, as you try both of those. This today, today is the worst cloud gaming is ever going to be. From here, it only gets better. It only gets more powerful. It only gets more uh, easier to access more commonplace today is the worst that cloud gaming will ever be and when you combine cloud gaming with game pass and you can see xbox going all in on both of those when you see uh you know them really filling out their library with activision blizzard with bethesda etc etc you can see the future 
And it's why I really believe this is the correct strategy. A lot of you don't. A lot of you think that, oh, they're losing the console. Why are we getting away from consoles? It's because you can't see the future. Think about where we are in five years. Think about where we were five years ago. We weren't even having this discussion five years ago. This wasn't even on the roadmap. AI wasn't even a thing. AI wasn't even a thing a year and a half ago. And now it's all that we're talking about. And now we're using them in our phones. We're using them in our consoles. Where will we be at in five years? And I believe cloud gaming is and subscription-based gaming is going to be a huge part of that. But I would love to know what you guys think. Do you think that this is the right move? Do you think that Xbox is going to dominate PlayStation in the cloud gaming space? Like Bloomberg says, uh, Bloomberg a- analysts went on to say that they expect, I believe, uh, 40% of the market, cloud gaming market, to be captured by Xbox and 15% to be captured by PlayStation at this point, like given current trends. That's obviously just a, a theoretical guess there, but... Xbox is all in on cloud gaming. It's why I believe that we are at the beginning of the Xbox domination generation. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And let's finish on this story here. This is Xbox has begun including handhelds and promotional in- promotional images. Clearly a big focus these days. Excuse me. We know that PlayStation has said they're going to make a handheld. We know that Xbox is definitely down with the handheld as well. Uh, and there's actually a tweet. Here it is from Tom Warren, who first noticed this, that Xbox platform images now includes a subtle change that shows how important this category of devices is to Xbox. Handhelds are now up there alongside Xbox game consoles, gaming PC phones, and laptops. And you can see the handheld. Uh, let's see. Can we zoom in on this? Let's go to the tweet here. And let's zoom in. You can see it right, right next to the screen. You can't see my mouse, but it's right next to the screen. Uh, there, there's the handheld and that looks like an a- ROG ally type of handheld that's there, but regardless, very interesting. And I do think this is in combination. Think about what handheld gaming is going to, it's all about how do we expand our game pass subscription service? How do we expand our cloud gaming to more people? How do we how do we get bring more people into the ecosystem? We've kind of hit this cap. Everyone's admitted it. This isn't just an Xbox thing. This is Nintendo has talked about it. Sony's talked about it. Steam has talked about it. Xbox has talked about it. That there is this cap on console gaming. It's like we've hit this. It's not growing at the exponential rate it needs to to continue uh, with the success that consoles have had up to this date. We're at peak. So now, how do we grow it from here? Emerging markets is the answer. Cloud gaming is the answer, I believe. Portable gaming via Xbox handhelds is the gaming, and PC PC handhelds have has obviously been a huge success. We know that the that Xbox has recently updated their operating system, their Windows system, to include the Xbox Mobile version of their app built for these consoles. I think we're going to go beyond that, though. I think what we're going to actually see is an Xbox operating system on a handheld, on a custom handheld, uh, because that's the key. It's why Steam uses their own operating system, because it's just much more efficient than a Windows 11 is ever going to be. It will be built specifically for gaming, specifically for gaming on a handheld. It'll be optimized, maximized to use as little resources as possible to get the most out of your games. And I think we're going to go, and I think we're that's the route we're going to go. We're going to see Windows 11 is not the answer. I think we're going to see Windows 11 is there for like an ROG ally. For Xbox's own handheld, it'll be its own operating system. The same as Steam has its own operating system. I firmly believe that. And I think this is a huge part of the future. And I think this just goes on top of the cloud gaming as to why I believe that we're at the beginning of the Xbox domination generation. That does us for today, though. Let me know what you guys think. Again, some of you are going to disagree with me. Let me know why in the comments below. Let me know if you agree with me. What am I overstating? What am I understating? What am I missing? Let me know. And again, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel. My name is X1 The Gamer. We do the videos like this all the time. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.